welcome to the review of Jumping Zombie. As always, I'll start with detail. Jumping Zombie has incredible detail, from the teeth, to the hands, to every part of the face. It's just, it looks like a real zombie. And unfortunately, for everybody who wants to buy him, he is out of stock until further notice. Um, he was sold in 2012 of Spirit Halloween, um, so the link to get him will not be in the description, I'm sorry. His cloth does um, cover the entire module and the feet, um, and he lurches a good bit um, from about right here to there. So I'll show a side view really quick. Now, um, Techie Toys is the maker of this, so Techie Toys, if you're watching this, um, I do like the weighted back foot, however, I would like to see that on all of the jumping props. So yeah, guys, as you can see, the weighted foot is right there. Now, I think Jumping Spider and all the other jumping props from Spirit Halloween really need this because even with that weighted foot, this guy still goes like inch and inch and inch. So I did, what I did was, um, I zip tied the legs, I put the zip tie around the legs to a wooden platform to keep, keep him sturdy all year for Halloween. Um, so, and I had to do that with all the jumping props because they jump quite a bit. Like, the springs on there are extremely powerful. Um, but, yeah. Jumping Zombie has a bit harder assembly, um, compared to the other jumping props where other jumping props you literally connect the feet and you're done. Uh, and connect the springs, of course. But this one you do have to attach the head. And that's in my setup video if you want to go see that. The link to that will be in the description. Um, but very simple mechanism. I mean, like, this is it's pretty simple right there. And um, his he has a speaker right here. Uh, an option for four AA batteries if you cannot use him near an outlet. And if you do, and if you can use an outlet, he does have an included, I think it's included, um... Let me see on the box really quick. I doubt, I don't think it's a included adapter. No, it's not an included adapter, but you can purchase those at Spirit Halloween as well. He can also be operated by a foot pad. Um, he takes the older style plug-in right here uh, because he was sold in 2012 and the Universal did not come out until, um, I believe, I think it was last, last year, 2014 or 2013. It was somewhere around there. Uh, I think it was 2014. Um, but anyway, he has uh, an option for a try me, no, sorry, a step pad. Uh, and that's always handy just in case the motion sensor, and yes, he has a motion sensor in the mouth right here. Um, it, it's like too dark. It's also really good. The step pad's really good if it's really dark and, you know, he won't go off. And you'd have to make a loud sound, which somebody has to scream, and that usually happens after he activates. <laughs> but he is activated by sound, too. So, I give him a 5 out of 5, or I'll say 10 out of 10, because that's what I usually do, actually. Um, because he's a great startle prop. I have no issues with him at all. Um, he's worked for me for a lot of years now, count up, like 2012, 2014. That's two years that I've had him, and he hasn't caused an issue with anything. Um, but if you want something that will... Scare the crap out of people at Halloween and <laughs> make them go have to change their pants. Get any jumping prop from Spear Halloween. They are awesome. Uh, this guy retails for about $120, um, where the jumping spider, with just a little bit less detail but is awesome as well, um, is $79.99. Um, so, yeah, and they offer the spiders in brown and black, but. We're not doing a review on the spider, so let's get back to the zombie. Fairly easy setup. Um, he was literally not even ten minutes. It wasn't even five minutes, I don't think. It was like three minutes to set him up. Um, so that's always great. Another feature with the jumping props that I like, or most of them, he has lighted eyes too. They light up white. Uh, the demo to him will be in the description. Um, I doubt I will make a new demo for him, but he will soon be on my Haunted House website, Asylum of Lost Souls. Go check it out. Uh, also the website, which is always in the description. Um, yeah, and I also like that he has long hair. Because um, when he jumps, um, 
it doesn't get really caught around the hands unless you put it in front. And I like that because it, it's like some of them bounce up. He's powerful. He's just not too powerful where he will break. So yeah, guys, that was my review on Jumping Zombie. I hope you liked it. Rate this video, comment, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.